Gaming Bridge 76. Hello everyone, I'm the Gamer76 and this is my 63rd ever video. And today I'm drawing my characters, a few of these folks up here, as people. Specifically my squishies because I only use squishy ones. Start with that. Hi, welcome. You may notice that my camera looks a little bit closer to the table. That's on purpose because I thought it would pick up the details better. Anyways, here's my sketchbook. Oh, that pencil's running away. Get back over there. I started in August of last year and... It's almost done already. Opening to the first clear page. And then I get to feel the page around. Mess with the pencil leg because at this point it was falling out of it. It got better later. Now who should I draw? How about Stitchy? My favorite character. <laughs> Mine. Got my pencil ready. Drew a head at an angle kind of. His neck. Here's his arm up, and I tried to draw it in like a claw shape, which took me a while to figure out because that was just ha horrendous. I tried it one more time, and I think that time I was okay with it. So then I drew the other arm. I decided not to do the other hand yet because I didn't feel like doing it too in the short amount of time. So I drew his body and legs bent like that because he's like on the ground. I tried to draw sock lines. I couldn't figure out how to get those to look good, so yeah. I drew him in shorts, because I'm drawing him as like a little child and I associate shorts with childness. I don't know why. I gave him a little bandana thing to represent that triangle of white he has. And then I did his claw hand. I'm doing like face bits, like closed eyes and a big open mouth, and his hair all fluffy like that. And I drew cat ears. No, he is not a cat person. I just drew him as a little kid playing, pretending to be a cat. And I drew him as a little kid, which doesn't really make all that much sense because he's one of the oldest characters I have, but I drew him as a child because he thought he was vibes. I decided to represent his spots. I gave him vertiligo, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I didn't do that right. And now with my pen, I'm going to line everything real quick because like, this is the exact same thing, just again in a darker color and more permanent. I didn't line the spots because I didn't felt, feel the need to. Then I got this beige-ish, orange-ish skin tone, I don't know how to call it, and I forgot his eyebrow, so I added that. And also a little hidden one of his other eye. And then I drew all the spots in the lighter color. And this palm is a lighter color too because that is how everyone is. Their palm is a lighter color than the rest of them. It's just most of them be on people with darker skin tone. Then I started to draw this skin with this color, and then I decided, no, it's not what I'm going for. So I got this darker brown colored the rest of the skin in this. And yes, of course I know that Digi is most is his base color of white with other colors, spots, but he's also my character, and I can draw him however I want. And then I got pink, and drew his ear in pink his other ear in green, which was a bit of too much of a bright green, honestly. I drew half his shirt in pink, and then half his shirt in blue, because that's how his two arms are. And then I drew his, his armband in green, because his paw is green on, on that side. I drew the insides of the ears in the other color, the other ear's color. I drew that orange spot, to look like that. Blue spot, and then a blue sock, because that's silly. And then I drew that part pink. And I realized that's stupid, and then I had to erase it, which luckily my pencils are so cheap they can erase. And then I colored it in yellow, which was the correct color. And I colored his mouth two shades of pink. I didn't have a red pencil at the time. I'm shading in his hair with some gray because I wanted to keep it white, but I thought it looked unfinished in just white. And I signed it because it is done. And also put the day on February 4th, 2024. If you don't use the same dating style that I do, that I explained it. And then that page is all nice and done. Turn to the next page because I'm doing another one. And it's these two, Zach and Mark. At the moment, I can't remember who's who. I should really remember. So I drew this head and this head. These heads are like touching noses as the squishies are meant to be. And then I drew this. Uh, crap, I forget which one it was. Let's like, let me check my notes. <laughs> I drew Zach's hand, but it looks like it's the wrong hand connected to the wrong arm, and I didn't notice that until after it was fully done, so now this piece is ruined for me. And then I'm just drawing Zach's body, then I'm Mark's body. I was really weird about it. 
I didn't know how to draw it properly. He drew his eyes in like a smile, like a cheeky smile, I guess you could call it. And then he drew, tried to draw his hair like dreads. I'm not sure if I did that fully correctly, but I tried. I'm trying to, I'm trying. This is the first time I've done that. I'm trying to get better. And then Zach with a shocked face. I drew his hair in a little ponytail and I realized I should give him a textured hairstyle. And I drew it like that, which looks bad. I've changed it. Don't worry. I don't know when I changed it, but I did. And then I drew his like clothing, I think. And here's where I changed his hair to like just being curly and down. And then I erased all the pencil sketching. Well, I lightened the pencils and then I went over all the lines in the liner. And they are like in suits for that little thing they have. And I got the orange and drew Zach's hair in orange because he's the orange elephant. <laughs> And all of his outfit in orange because there isn't really much other colors on him. And then I got this pink color and drew Mark in pink, obviously, because he's the pink one. I drew Zach with pink eyes and a pink tie and pink shoe tongs and opposite of Mark. And then I drew Mark with orange eyes. And then I drew Zach in this dark brown because I thought this looked nice and pretty. I drew him in the slightly lighter brown. Yeah, this is going way faster than I thought it does. And I also dark, slightly darkened it because I wanted it to be darker. And then I signed it in between them and I dated it right there, 2524. Yay. This is me saying that I found out that it was on the wrong side. And also, I got pen colored pencils. I wanted to add some blush to him because I didn't bl add blush to him. Ever. <laughs> I was meant to. And then that's done. So next page. This is the last drawing I'm doing. This is a pencil. <laughs> Obviously, why did I just say this? <laughs> and then I drew a head and then I realized you don't know who I'm drawing yet. So it's these two. Carrie and Coco, my almost newest characters, I think. And I drew Carrie. It's like tall, hug, giving a Coco a hug. This picture didn't turn out my favorite, to be honest. It's my least favorite, actually. I almost d d removed it from the video, and then I decided it's good to keep a mess up in there. And then I lined it all. You notice how fast that sketch went? It's because I don't like it. So you may notice that Coco has a backpack on. I imagine this is like him going away to his first day of school, and she's giving him a hug. It looks a lot less tender than I wanted it to. I drew her in this color, which kind of looks similar to her caramel color, which is why I chose it. And then a light orange because it's kind of similar to caramel color without being the same color. Then I do the stripes because she has the stripes. And he's like that dark color. He clearly takes after his dad who is literally not in this photo. I drew his hair in shorts and black. I drew his backpack in a different brown and then I gave him an orange shirt and orange shoes. And then I signed it. And then I put the day on it. With the wrong year. I didn't notice that. I'll fix that later. Okay, bye. Okay, I finished all the drawings. I hope you enjoyed. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and goodbye.